Hey guys, welcome to Living in New Hampshire. My name's Cody and I'm a local real estate agent with EXP. In today's video, we're gonna be covering the safest places to live in all of New Hampshire. This video is gonna be broken up into two parts, so make sure you watch part number two to find out the top 10 safest places. Starting off with number 20, we have Barnstead. The small town is located in Belknap County, 18 miles northeast of Concord and 81 miles north of Boston. Despite their relatively large land area of 42 square miles, the town's estimated population is just 4,669, offering residents plenty of privacy while providing close access to the larger cities. According to data, Barnstead's crime rate is 3.7 times lower than the U.S. average. Number 19 is Stratham. The upscale town is located in Rockingham County, 31 miles east of Manchester and just 10 miles northwest of Hampton. Stratham's close proximity to the ocean and low crime rate makes it a premier destination for growing families. However, with a median home price of $523,988, that limits the number of potential buyers relocating to the state. It's no surprise that the estimated population is 7,465, which has continued to increase over the past decade. Based on the data, the town has continued to rank significantly below the U.S. average crime index year after year. Number 18 is Barrington. Situated in Stratford County, the small town is located 28 miles east of Concord and 20 miles northwest of Portsmouth. The rural atmosphere offers residents a laid-back, quiet lifestyle while providing easy access to Portsmouth and various parts of Maine. The lack of major employers within the town may be a reason why the population has remained quite low. Estimated to be 9,193, resulting in a median home price of $376,595. As a whole, the town offers a safe family-friendly environment, considering the crime rate was 4.1 times lower than the U.S. average. Number 17 is Bow. The quaint town is located in Merrimack County, situated in the outskirts of Concord, just 17 miles north of Manchester. Known for having one of the best school districts in New Hampshire, the town offers a number of upscale neighborhoods while providing privacy and safety. With a median home price of $399,869, it's not uncommon to see values approach the high six figures within established developments. The common trend thus far is that the less populated areas tend to have less crime. Bo is another example of that, with an estimated population of 7,900 949 residents, the town's crime rate is 8.1 times lower than the U.S. average. Number 16 is Hollis. The charming small town is located in the southern region of the state within Hillsborough County, 7 miles west of Nashua and 24 miles south of Manchester. Hollis ranks among the top five best school districts in New Hampshire. The town borders Massachusetts, offering easy access to Boston and the surrounding areas. A potential downside may be the high median home price of 500 $141,323, making it difficult for those on a tight budget. With a population of only 7,945 residents, the town's crime rate has remained well below the U.S. average for a number of years. Number 15 is New Ipswich. The town is located just 19 miles west of Hollis and 12 miles south of Peterborough. With a median home price of $309,630, this offers a more affordable housing option along the Massachusetts border which can be a huge pro for those working in Boston while taking advantage of the tax benefits of living in New Hampshire. Besides the cost of living, New Ipswich is relatively similar to Hollis, especially when you compare population and safety. With an estimated population of 5,374 residents and a crime rate 5.2 times lower than the U.S. average, it's a great place to consider if you're looking for a safe town to live. Number 14 is Kingston. It was the fifth town to be established in New Hampshire located in Rockingham County, just 13 miles west of Hampton and 28 miles east of Manchester. Considering its proximity to the ocean, home prices remain fairly affordable. With a median value of $407,831, roughly $40,000 less than homes within Hampton. The nearby town of Exeter ranks among the top 15 school districts in the state, making it a great location for those in search of affordable housing close to the coast as well as a large city. 
Cities. With an estimated population of 6,025 residents, they can enjoy privacy and peace of mind knowing that the crime rate is 6.2 times lower than the U.S. average. Number 13 is Wyndham. The upscale town has an estimated population of 13,592 residents. Located within Rockingham County, bordering the town of Salem to the west, just 20 miles south of Manchester. In general, Wyndham is known to be one of the most expensive areas in southern New Hampshire. With a median home price of $563,466, it's no surprise how they got that reputation. The town's highly rated school system combined with a crime rate 8.4 times lower than the U.S. average makes it a great area for families with young children. Number 12 is Litchfield. The town is located on the outskirts of Manchester, just 12 miles from downtown. Ranked as one of the safest towns in Hillsborough County with a crime rate 8.6 times lower than the U.S. average. Based on personal experience, Litchfield is one of my favorite small towns in all of southern New Hampshire. It may feel small with only 8,271 residents. However, because of its centralized location, it's in close proximity to the nearby cities. A potential downside may be the median home price of $400,934, which has increased significantly along with the rest of the state over the past year. Number 11 is Ware. The small rural town has an estimated population of 9,076 residents. Located 14 miles southwest of Concord and 18 miles west of Manchester, situated within Hillsborough County. Ware offers land and privacy without sacrificing the convenience of being close to the larger cities. When you combine a median home price of $335,714 with a crime rate 7.1 times lower than the U.S. average, it's no surprise why many families gravitate towards this small town. And that wraps up part one of the safest places to live in New Hampshire. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. It really helps to grow the channel. And as always, if you're thinking about moving to New Hampshire or you just have any questions, I'll leave my contact info in the description below. Thanks for watching.